I had seen a post the other day that was like, if you can wear a wig in this weather, you're a fireman. And I said, well, call me Lil Wayne, because I'm the fireman. Her and Sienna Taylor just turned me on real bad. <laughs> I was like, put me in the middle, okay? So stay tuned, grab a glass of wine. We're going to do my hair, chit chat, and we're going to talk about these EBT card awards, okay? Let's get into it. So many ways is the way I want to for you, my love. What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. I am Shania Shayan and welcome or welcome back to Living for Shayan. So in today's vlog guys, so I was just doing my hair. So first off, let me give a big shout out to Nadula Hair. I absolutely love this wig. This is their pre-everything wig. So it's already pre-cut, pre-plucked pre just everything so shout out to them i'm still fairly new with learning how to like lay lay my wigs i mean i have came a long way but this is perfect for beginners so i will make sure i have this link in the description um as well as i think i may have a code for you guys but i will double check that so shout out to nadula i've been getting way better i've been getting way better with these wig installs like compared to my old ones I think I'm gonna include a picture of like an old thumbnail of like with my old wigs. Go back and watch my old vlogs. Um, when I first started doing my wigs, go watch the vlog wherever I'm gonna put it at, but go watch that. Y'all will see your girl has came a long way. Okay, a long way. But again, shout out to Nadula. But one of the things I was doing now is just tightening up my part a little bit so it's just a little bit more defined. Um, I was gonna curl this out, but I love this little flip in it. And it actually came like kind of with this flip already there. And instead of trying to go against it, I'm like, let me try that. I think that would be really freaking cute, a really preppy cute look. So I think I'm just gonna fill this out a little bit, maybe add some layers to it and just, you know, and just define the flip just a little bit more because this looks really grown and sexy to me and I love it, okay? But y'all, I wanted to get into it real quick, y'all. I know y'all watched the BET Awards, so I wanted to come on and get y'all thoughts on it. Um, I did watch it last night. Um, It was kind of what I expected out of a BET Awards. Like, I wasn't expecting too much. I will say, though, there were a couple people that I loved, okay? I loved. There were a couple things I was like, huh? But we gonna talk about it. So stay tuned. Grab a glass of wine. We gonna do my hair, chit chat, and we gonna talk about these EBT card awards. Okay, let's get into it. So y'all, first and foremost, let's talk about it. So the first person I wanna talk about was like my favorite performance, which everybody in a mama is talking about right now. And that was absolutely Victoria Monet and Tiana Taylor. Baby, what a way to end off Pride, okay? They did so good. I love how they recreated um, Beyonce and Usher's performance. I thought that was so dope. I'm not gonna say I'm a big Victoria Monet fan, um, just simply because I really haven't been able to get really into her. I know like the two songs that everybody else knows. I've never really seen her perform and she is amazing. Like she is absolutely amazing. She gives me very much like she's gonna be around for a very long time. She's not gimmicky. She gives me very much like really raw talent. And her and Sienna Taylor just turned me on real bad. <laughs> I was like, put me in the middle, okay? But yeah, that was so lit. I think both of the ladies did amazing. Um, As far as the Usher tribute, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the fact that he had an all-woman tribute and the ladies came through and, you know, represented for him. I thought that was very, very dope. And Usher been making music for the ladies for forever. So, you know, like, I thought it was dope. Yes, I would have loved to have seen like a Chris Brown okay um i definitely was like they had no man available but at the same time i did like that they tried something different i'm always for girl power and woman empowerment and i think um uh, and i think that the ladies did amazing i actually was very very proud as a woman to see them come on and like slay that shit like that and i thought it was amazing so shout out to those ladies um, I'm real mad that BET bleeped out Usher's whole damn, um, speech. I was trying to see what he was talking about because I felt like he was giving it the business. Once I heard the first mother, I knew it was real. I said, oh, Usher not playing, okay? But what we definitely gonna talk about is how they robbed Sexy Red. Like, 
don't get me wrong. I'm not no number one. I'm not a huge, sexy red fan. I think I'm just a little old. But you cannot deny that she came through in her own, but that she came through and has been doing her a big one since she dropped. That girl got multiple, multiple number one singles, okay? She got Summer on lock. It has been. And regardless if you like her music or not, like, you got to give her props for that. Like, she been doing her big one. And so for Tyler to come through and win, which is another story I'm going to get into, um, that kind of pissed me off. I really felt like that should have absolutely, ooh, child. I absolutely feel like that should have went to Sexy Red and everybody knew it. You could tell the crowd was ready for it to win and everything. So for them to give it to Tyler, who um, doesn't even want to identify as black, don't get me going on that whole subject. I understand she's from South Africa and they got their own, you know, terminology and they use colored and all that. Baby, all you had to say was, number one, you could have used that interview as an opportunity to educate us and, and let us know, you know, where you come from, exactly what your ethnicity is and how we should approach you so that we can respect your culture and respect your identity. But when you blatantly just ignore it, like, girl, what you expect us to do? So for her performance was all right. I mean, I'm going to give her props because I think with due time, she's going to be an excellent performer. This was her first BET award, so shout out to her. I mean, what God got meant for you, can't nobody stop. So clearly she's in this position because this is where she's meant to be. But I would like her to be a lot more open. Her whole image and everything about you screams African culture, Afrocentric. You do Afro beats. You do put on for the Africans. I love that she had, um, I can't remember the artist's name, but... I love the African artist that she had come on with him because I'm an Afrobeats fan. I love it, okay? But I just felt like she playing the fence. And I ain't with nobody that's playing the fence with my black race, period, okay? Because all that girl had to say on that interview was, this is my ethnicity, blah, 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 and educate us rather than having us feel like, you know, you don't want to be black or you don't want to identify that part of you. And I know that she's very much mixed. I mean, she has like... A couple, I think she's mixed with a couple different things, which, which I love. I think that's what makes her unique. And there are probably so many other girls that can identify with her. But if she doesn't embrace that, I'm not going to support it, okay? Like, but embrace that. Don't try to make it like you got your PR team answering your questions. Like, and a part of me don't blame her. I blame her PR because they should have been prepared for that, okay? Like, y'all making people not like this girl. And I don't like that. Um, I also enjoyed Lotto. I love Lotto. She's just like, she give me the vibes, especially if I'm out or with the girls. Um, so I did enjoy that. Um, Coco Jones gave me a vibe, honey. When she broke down on Usher's wife, baby, I was up in the TV like this. Okay, because I want to see it all. I love the girls, girls. Okay. I loved all the girls uh, dancing and doing what they do on each other because I had a ball watching it. Okay. My flag was raising high, honey, and I loved it. I loved it. So that's what I did like. Um, Taraji, um, I don't, I don't want to say nothing bad about this person because I absolutely love her. I admire her. She is a girl's girl, and she be here for the black women and the culture. But what the hell was going on with Taraji last night? Like, ain't nobody tell you in your earpiece or nothing like, girl. One thing I will say that I did like when Coco Jones was singing to Usher, when she asked him to get up, he immediately looked at his wife to get her approval. And I thought that that was so respectable. And I really love that. And I really love his wife. I think they are very happy from what I can see. Um, you know, I think she's a beautiful woman. And I think that they look happy. And she's always there supporting him. And I love that for them. Look, I'm all about love. I don't care what the love look like. I'm just all about the love. So... That was my little take on the EBT card awards, and that's what I call it. And I was like, see, this is why all the big celebrities do not come, honey. This is why they don't come. But I don't like that either, because a lot of them, y'all started at BET. Like, I don't care how big you ever get, you always show love to the people that had love for you in the beginning. But I also understand when it starts to become a liability. Like, you got to choose you and do what you got to do for yourself. I ain't never knocking that. Ever, Okay. So, yeah, that was my take pretty much on the awards and everything. But BET just got to do better. And I remember, like, back in the day, y'all, like, the BET Awards. I remember when people didn't even have cable and we used to all go to each other's house just so we can watch it. 
And now it's just ghetto. I ain't even gonna lie, it's just ghetto. Okay? They just gotta do better. So as y'all can see right here, I kind of cut that a little bit just to give me a little bit of layer to it. So I kind of cut that. And then I always put like a big, big roller right here because when you comb that thing out, ooh. Y'all saw that? Mm-hmm, get into it. Yes, Nadula. Nadula always get me right when it comes to my wigs. There are a couple other wig companies I want to try, but I'm like one of them people where like, if I find a good wig company, I try to stay with it. Um, I'm also in their influencer program, so I love being able to give you guys deals and getting my little deals and my free gifts and stuff like that and my wigs and stuff. So, But um, there are a couple other companies that I do want to try. I've been seeing Love Me Hair. I want to try some of their hair. And there was another one. Um, I cannot think of it off of the top of my head. But um, yeah. I want to try some of their wigs too. I had seen a post the other day that was like, if you can wear a wig in this weather, you're a fireman. And I said, well, call me Lil Wayne because I'm the fireman, okay? Because I'm going to wear this wig. I'm going to wear it, which is one of the reasons why I did get like a shorter wig. I didn't want anything long and hot and none of that. And this was like perfect. I also really like this hair. It's super soft, super soft, super bouncy. And I haven't really been doing nothing to it. I am horrible with like wig upkeep. Um, I put my little wig band on and put on a bonnet and baby, whatever I get in the morning is what I get. But um, yeah, so this was very low maintenance and I think it's like perfect for beginners if you're just beginning. But I love this little style. I had saw it and I thought it would be so cute and it turned out so bomb. And it turned out so bomb. So shout out to Nadula. I really appreciate it. Let me do the big side. Shout out to Nadula. I really appreciate it. There we go. Give it a little bit more. Yeah. So I just really wanted to catch up with y'all and talk to y'all about. Well, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to the vlog. Make sure you go hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next vlog. I got a fashion overhaul on the way. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys, and shout out to Nadula. Bye, guys.